I have been covering New Jersey's news for about three years now, particularly here on the internet or on this platform. The official elected official is the channel you can go back to for all of that great coverage back in 2017 when the governor Murphy was running for governor and his campaign was such a reaction to try. He didn't run against the woman that the uh, Republicans put forward. No, he ran against Trump. He was sitting there screaming sanctuary state and all this other fun stuff where I'm looking at it and you can go check, check my records, guys. You can go and see where I'm like, wait, you don't have to do all this. Stop. Because the one thing you don't ever want to do is, you know, uh, basically flip off the feds and it was the weirdest thing in the world to witness as the state government sat there and was like no nah, man i don't like the federal government i'm not gonna pay attention to federal law I'm like wait what <laughs> it doesn't make any sense it doesn't make any sense and yet they persisted with this and here we are all these years later and well uh i was right and <laughs> They are expect they weren't expecting any kind of retribution. They weren't expecting any kind of get back. And I'm just like, bro, are you stupid? Oh my goodness. This is coming to us from Fox News. Court hands Trump win in sanctuary city fights. Says administration can deny grant money. This is written by Adam Shaw, and you have to know that Congressman Payne was up there playing victim, talking about, oh my goodness, we were denied these funds, and they're all so important, bruh. What did you expect to happen? Come on, guys. What did you expect to happen? Let's get into a little bit of uh, Fox coverage on this entire scenario. Sanctuary jurisdictions deploying 100 of the most elite, highly trained Border Patrol agents. Yeah, right there, North New Jersey. Including New York and Los Angeles. The yeah, operation North. will run from February through May in an effort to assist ICE officials who enforce federal immigration law. Because local law enforcement hasn't been allowed to do their job, to, to do their part in it. And that, a lot of that is thanks to uh, Gruwal's directives, which, guys, come on, man. Like, it, like, it's ridiculous. Like, and then he comes out and says, oh, well, why are they coming at us now? Like, dude, it's offense. They'll come when they'll come whenever they're ready. <laughs> The feds is like, oh, no, we got time. We can come and get this. Like, bruh, you do not. And it blows. That's the thing that really blows my mind is that it's federal representation. That is the one, the ones that are who are thumb, thumb in their nose up at the federal. Uh, oh, my goodness. A federal appeals court on Wednesday handed a major win to the Trump administration in its fight against sanctuary jurisdictions, ruling that it can deny grant money to states that refuse to cooperate with federal immigration authorities. The Second Circuit Court of Appeals in New York overturned a lower court ruling that stopped the administration's 2017 move to withhold grant money from the Edward Bryan Memorial Justice Assistance Grant Program with dispenses over $250 million a year to state and local criminal justice efforts. Today's decision, rightful, today's decision rightfully recognizes the lawful authority of the Attorney General to ensure that the Department of Justice grant recipients are not at the same time thwarting federal law enforcement priorities, which is completely reasonable, a uh, Department of Justice spokesperson, spokesman said in a statement. The grant conditions here require states and cities that receive DOJ grants to share information about criminals in custody. The federal government uses this information to enforce national immigration laws, policies, supported by successive Democrat and Republican administrations. All Americans will benefit from increased public safety as the administration is able to implement its lawful immigration and public safety policies, the statement said. The latest decision conflicts with rulings from other appeals courts across the country concerning sanctuary policies, indicating a Supreme Court review is ultimately likely. New York City and liberal states, including New York, Washington, Massachusetts, and Connecticut, to the government, and the U.S. District Court for Southern uh, for the Southern District of New York back them, back them, ordering the money be released and stopping the government from putting immigration related conditions on grants. But the appeals court ruled that it cannot agree that the federal government must be enjoined from imposing the challenged conditions on the federal grants here at issue. These conditions help the federal government enforce national immigration laws and policies supported by successive Democrat and Republican administrations, the courts ruled, but more to the author authorization point. 
They ensure that applicants satisfy particular statutory grant requirements imposed by Congress and subject to attorney general oversight. It also disagreed with the district court's claim that the conditions intrude on powers reserved only to states, noting that in immigration policy, the Supreme Court has found that the federal government maintains broad and preeminent power of because that's why we have a federal government to look out for the republic the un, the ruling marks a key win for the administration in its efforts to crack down on the continued use of sanctuary policies that limit local law enforcement cooperation with federal immigration authorities in order to shield illegal immigrants from deportation the heritage foundations mike howell a former member of the department of homeland security's office of legal counsel told fox news that he is that the ruling is potentially an important development considering the dependence of states like new york on department of justice grant money when you look at the amount of money that that flows in via grants generally the federal government has a lot of power over states and localities he said if you open the door to the federal government being able to condition that grant money it's a huge deal Ex what i say what i say man i've been saying i've been saying it since murphy's campaign and we're talking about all the way back there in 2017 when when Roz Baraka and, and Tony Voss and, and Ted Green stood on the te steps of Newark City Hall and was like, oh, my goodness, yeah, oh, yeah, federal government, go ahead, son. What? What you want to do? What you going to do? <laughs> and the federal government was like, all right, bet. I'm sorry, but it's ridiculous how just like emotional and completely out of sorts watching this government operate over the past few years has been and hopefully you know since some kind of sense comes uh this this state's way sanctuary policies generally forbid local law enforcement from honoring detainers requested from immigration and customs enforcement ice that they that they be alerted to of two of an illegal immigrants released from custody so they can be picked up by ice and put through deportation proceedings all right so deal is that the trump um long and short is that the the court sided with trump the, the funds are going to get shut down the, the, the funds they don't get the funds because they are literally thumbing their nose up they're literally flipping off the federal government right now and the federal government is like well why should we give them money when you're they're flipping us off let's dead that why not? Why not? Consequences. That's the thing, man. This is I think that's been a real big problem with uh, what's going on in a lot of our politics right now. Is that you know, shoot, you know, it hasn't been a part a lot of consequences. But either ways, uh, we'll see where all these folks um land up it land at. But with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you like to toss it a like, dislike, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you. Sub. If you enjoy my fantastic voice, you know, get videos like this every single day. Share because sharing is caring. And YouTube, bitch, you and like aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here. Uh, share because you're. Oh, no, no, no. Um, bang the bell for notifications and speak. Let me know, let me know what you guys think in the comments. This is uh this was this was bound to happen. This was definitely going to happen. And the fact that, you know, Donald Payne's up there like, oh my goodness, oh how how could he? How dare he? Oh <laughs> and Grover grew all sitting there like, oh well, you know, I mean, shh, why did they wait this long? Like, bruh, like seriously, these are your answers? Oh my god. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments and until the next one.